Don't you hate when your pictures look uh, blurry like it's here in the background of this website? Then I got a thing for you guys. I will be giving away a gigabyte uh, or whatever this is, Topaz Labs uh, Gigapixel AI for free in my next giveaway. And not only that, I got uh, the settlers for you guys as well. This was given to me by uh, Intel and uh, I went with playing this game. So what best way is to actually give it away? I am sure some, the winner of uh, this game will uh, surely enjoy playing it. Uh, probably much uh, better than I do. So uh, yeah. All you actually gotta do is write down in the comments below hashtag graphic arc and uh, I will use a YouTube comment picker in the next uh, week after one week and uh, announce the winner who wins the settlers and uh, the AI program to upscale your images. So uh, yeah, that's it. Let's continue to the video that I promised uh, some time ago, you know. <laughs> So uh, yeah, what we will be testing today is actually XESS uh, 1.0 and uh, XESS 1.1. You can actually download the 1.1 DLL files and uh, test them out. So uh, this is exactly what we will be doing in this video. Uh, do know that I won't be showing the way how to actually... Uh, copy and paste the files to the game directory and replace xss files because i'm sure you guys all know how to do that so uh, yeah max settings uh, volumetric foc on medium and xss quality on returnal let's see what will happen i'm sure uh, we will get uh, some uh, performance boost guys maybe maybe not but uh, right now um, based on uh, what I was uh, seeing when I was playing Returnal especially on 2080 Ti and on A770 was that uh, the performance dropped by a percent or two with 1.1 uh, in comparison to 1.0 but uh, the image quality was uh, much much better so uh, I would suggest if you are playing Returnal and don't want to sacrifice uh, and uh, don't care about sacrificing an FPS or two for a better image quality then uh, go ahead and uh, check the description down below uh, I will leave a link there to download the XESS 1.1 version files which you can just replace in your game directory and uh, hopefully get a better experience uh, but uh, so far from what i've tested with 1.1 in comparison to 1.0 is actually uh, less mirroring on some things uh, better uh, i mean better more sharper image quality at some scenes that i've seen especially in modern warfare 2 which we will be also uh, testing here uh, but I will be using benchmark because it's uh, hard to compare the performance difference in other XSS games that don't have benchmark like uh, Marta is dead but uh, that game didn't want to work at my end so I left it out from this uh, video we will just be using the top three games that I have that have XSS and uh, yeah as we can see right now the performance if you are looking at the both sides right one is 1.1 left one is 1.0 it was kind of the same so uh, yeah here are the results for uh, XESS 1.0 we can see we are getting about 71 average FPS and uh, here we have uh, 1.1 which we are getting about 70% 70 FPS average which um, yeah it was the decrease that we expected, 1 to 2 FPS, so uh, yeah, let's move on uh, to the next game that we will be testing out, which is actually, uh, it has a weird name, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, I think people say it's uh, Corvus, uh, but uh, people here in Slovenia, when I say to them, I played this game, they always say, oh, it's uh, Chorus. <laughs> <laughs> you take it what you want uh, it's Corvus or Chorus I usually just say Chorus because uh, we have these uh, special characters not just C but we have also Ch which is uh, Chorus here in this case so uh, we will be testing 
curves churros out uh, we will be using maximum settings uh, 1440p uh, let me quickly disable here we sync and put unlimited fps uh, cap and uh, quickly go to the visual settings and uh, oh everything is set to max oh look ray tracing let me put ray tracing to the max as well i mean high in this case but the fps right now in the menu it's 50 so hmm. let's see what happens when we turn on xcss so will it improve performance also in the menu yes wow amazing we got about uh, 35 fps more what so uh, xcs surely is uh, working good in this game if uh, fps metrics from menu are to be noted for I'm Nara. um i'm not sure why uh, here in when i'm recording uh, cinematic when i was playing I the game i had a flickering uh, black screen flickering when watching cinematic so if uh, you guys have played uh, Curves Churros on uh, A770, let me know if you also get this uh, black screen flickering, but uh, yeah, here we have the starting area, let me quickly just fly slowly around here, we don't have uh, any benchmark, uh, the main footage is using 1.1 which we have on the left side and the right side uh, RTSS up there it's uh, using uh, 1.0, so I kept switching between uh, games, one was using main footage from 1.0 and this one is using from 1.1 So, as we can see the visual quality is really nice, uh, we are getting about higher FPS I think So based on the footage that I've uh, reviewed, uh, I saw that XCSS 1.1 was actually giving uh, one fps to two fps more and a better visual quality so uh, replacing xcss 1.0 with 1.1 might actually be worth it in all of the games that there are available maybe someone uh, from uh, my uh, subscribers here that own a770 and uh, forspoken please uh, test it out on Forspoken and let me know if it works uh, or gives better visual quality than with the 1.0 release that got out with the final version. So uh, yeah, let's move on to uh, Modern Warfare 2. You will see XCSS 1.1 helps big time <laughs> in this game. I mean, not big time, but it improves visual quality and uh, we actually get a good FPS boost in the end, which was surprising because uh, I didn't expect that uh, bigger FPS boost, especially based on the other test of Returnal and Marta is dead that I quickly did and uh, Chorus. <laughs> Uh, I was uh, actually expecting uh, lower performance in Modern Warfare 2 for some reason, so uh, yeah, we will be running here benchmark as well. The main footage will be from uh, 1.0, but at the right corner you will have uh, overlay with uh, frame time graph and FPS from 1.1 XCSS. As we can see already at the start, uh, we are getting about 52 FPS average with 1.0 and 1.1 actually boosted that up to about 60 average. So, what can we say already from this when we, we are seeing right now on the screen? That we will be getting, uh, I mean you will be getting if you will be actually replacing XCSS 1.0 with 1.1 on Modern Warfare 2, about 7 FPS more, which is uh, kind of legit just for replacing a few DLL files in the <laughs> game directory, so... <laughs> I advise you guys to, if you are playing Modern Warfare 2 on Interarch, uh, download the XCSS DLL in the description and replace it, and uh, trust me, you will have better frame time graph and uh, even visual quality with XCSS on, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching my new video, I will be making more from now on and uh, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell and uh, 
enter my giveaway as you can see guys we got uh, average 4 fps boost from 1.0 it was uh, 66 and now we got 70 so uh, let's go guys let's go